What's going on guys? Adam Snyder here with Home and Entrepreneur. Today I want to show you a simple little Amazon FBA product research technique that I personally use to find products to sell on Amazon FBA. So if you are a reseller, a wholesaler, a, you know, you private label sell, whatever you are, you can use this exact same hack. Now I'm personally going to show you how I use this for my wholesale business so you can get started as well. So if you're ready to become a wholesale seller on Amazon FBA, let me show you exactly what I do to find product. So let's go. All right guys, so what I wanna show you is how to do this very simple Amazon FBA product research technique. It's so simple. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step, kind of explain the process. Now, uh, this is something that I also teach inside my Learn to Wholesale course. Now, if you wanna get this and get the additional information, uh, I do have a discount code down below. The discount code is one time deal, okay? And it will take 50% off, so it brings the course down to $49.50. Now, let's go right into the, you know, the exact video. Let's just, let me show you how it's done, okay? So what we're gonna do is go to amazon.com and you're gonna click on the three little lines over here because we wanna go to every single category, all right? Now, this is exactly what I do, okay? I'm gonna come down here go to all the different categories and I'm gonna pick the category that I want, okay? So for this one, uh, I'll just do pet supplies. So I'm gonna click on pet supplies, okay? And let's go to, let's go to uh, dog supplies. There we go, okay? So that's the first thing I'm gonna do, okay? The reason I do that is because I want to narrow it down and I don't wanna search just the entire Amazon uh, you know, website. I wanna go to the exact categories. Now, one of the things I could do, um, which you know normally I would do, but for the sake of this video, I am not going to do it, is I would niche it down one more. So right now, I'm in pet supplies and then dog supplies, okay? So you can see right here, pet supplies, dogs. The next thing I would do is I'd come down here and I'd go to like one of these. So for example, let's say toys. You know what, I'll just do it for this video. So I'm gonna click on toys, okay? Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to average customer review. And I'm gonna do four star and up. The reason why I wanna do this is because I want to find the best products possible. I don't wanna find something that's just crap, it's gonna break, uh, is no really no use to me. So now, here I am, and there's an app that I use, okay? This one right here, it's called DS Amazon Quick View. You can see it right there, okay? I just have the free version. I don't have the, the premium version of it. So I just have the free version. The reason why I have the free version is because it has a very important information that I need. I need this information right here. I want to know what the ranking is. It's 55 in pet supplies. And I need this information that tells me is it sold by Amazon and how many FBA sellers are selling this particular product. So here's my criteria. Number one, I do not want to compete against Amazon. So if Amazon's selling the product, I am not even going to consider it. Number two, I do not just want to compete against the parent company, okay? And the way you can tell if you're competing against the parent company is usually there's only one FBA seller, okay? So I'm gonna click on this one right here, okay? It's Put Pacific Pups Products, okay? Now, once I'm here, this one I sold by Amazon, so that's a no. This one, three FBA sellers, I might sell that one. This one sold by Amazon, so no. This one sold by Amazon, so that would be a no. So let's click on this one right here just to see, um, okay, because it is done by, it's Pacific Pups Products. Look who it's sold by, Pacific Pups Products, LLC. So the chances of them actually allowing me to compete against them on Amazon is probably zero. They do not want that. So I can't sell that product, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. This one right here, Zippy Paws, okay, right here. I'm gonna open up this one because it's a good selling product. It's number 68 in pet supplies, and there's three FBA sellers, okay? Let's go look at this, okay? It's Zippy Paws, okay? So if we look here, here's what we can see, okay? It's being sold by eTales, and fulfilled by Amazon. See, there's other sellers as well. Let's go see who's selling this product. There's eTales, there's Stuff FX, which was just launched, there's JQuard, which was just launched, Max 7 Deals, 
and violet sin okay so there's other people selling these products this exact same product so the chances of me being able to sell these zippy paws are a little bit higher because other people are selling them okay let's go find one more i want to find one more okay the now kong you know that's a pretty popular product so right here this kong extreme let's click on that one because it said there was eight sellers okay so right here you know it's a decent selling product it's a large kong extreme the power chewer okay it's being sold by pets all love okay it's uh actually not even in stock right now and we can come down here and click on all the sellers and see okay so this is exactly what i do okay and so you can see right here half price is selling it uh prime goods too is selling it uh woof meow boutique pets all love okay all these people are selling it best of pets pets paradise okay all these people are selling it okay which is great which means the chances of me being able to jump on this listing as well and buy this product from hopefully the manufacturer or maybe a third party company uh, is a little more likely okay so once I would do that the next thing I would do so if it's a uh, this Kong product I would come over here and I type in Kong wholesale okay that's it that's all I would do is I type in Kong wholesale and I would see you know where I can find this brand this product is it from wholesale dog supplies is it from uh, you know kongcompany.com where can I go to buy the specific product to sell it on Amazon because that's all I want is I just want to you know the information where I can go and be like hey you know I saw I see that your product selling really well uh, you know and I have a whole template over on my inside the course as well you can see it over here but once I would do that that's it okay and then I go back and I do the whole thing again okay and let me show you something really quick Okay, just to give you an idea of how you can find a very profitable selling product. So let's say, let's say I want to sell this one, or I'm gonna go this one right here, these zippy paws. Okay, 68 in pet supplies. There is a free tool, it's called Jungle Scout Estimator. It's a free tool. You go to junglescout.com forward slash estimator and you can put in all the information. So what I would do is I'd pull all this information, and there's apps that you can do this with, but uh, a lot of them are paid. So 68 in pet supplies. So I'm gonna put 68 right here. The marketplace, United States category. I'm gonna go to pet supplies. Uh, where's pet supplies? Let me scroll down. There it is. Okay, pet supplies. Calculate sales. So let's say on this, uh, on this one right here, let's say I make you a know, dollar fifty per product. Okay, per one sold. Okay, that means I'm gonna pull up the calculator really quick. Now, I'm not gonna be able to sell all 9,300 of these, but let's say I'm able to sell 2,500 or say 1,000 in a month, okay? If I make $1.50, let's say I sell 2,000, okay? That means I would've made $3,000 profit from this one product in one month because of its ranking, because of the profit that I'm making, and because I did the work and sent it off to Amazon. But the whole thing, stems off of you finding a product okay being able to do all this product research again it's not a lot but then contacting the companies that sell this exact same product i'd recommend going to in, in the beginning going to a uh probably a middleman uh you know a wholesale distributor because it's going to be easier to get an account with a wholesale uh, distributor than it will be to get an account with a parent company especially in the beginning all right so a little tip for you guys all right so now that i just showed you and walked you through the process i want to give you some tips okay now if you need additional help make sure you go check out my wholesale course i'll put a link to it down in the description box below also you can get a 50 percent off discount as long as you use that link down below now let me give you some tips the first tip to have for you guys is when you send out emails to these manufacturer, these the parent company, chances are they are not going to say yes and bend over backwards to send you products, okay? A lot of people use this exact same strategy. So you need to send out a lot of emails or make a lot of phone calls 
to these you know these potential you know wholesale account holders so that you can make some money you can buy some of their products send them to Amazon and profit from it okay this is a great business to get into but the toughest thing is not doing the research the toughest thing is getting approved to sell those products okay like I showed you there are some products I wouldn't sell number one because Amazon selling that exact same product number two maybe the parent company is the only person selling that product so what's the likelihood they're gonna allow me to sell their products and become a competitor on Amazon it's probably zero okay that's why I just don't do it the next tip that I have for you guys and something that I talk about inside my course is do not just sell one product okay what I mean by this is you take one product from you know this uh, one parent company or this manufacturer and you bundle it with a second product because now it's double the value, triple the value, just because it's not one thing, it is two items that benefit each other. And now you have a little bit of a bundle. Most people that sell on Amazon, you know, including myself now, I do not do a lot of bundles. When I first started, I did a lot of bundles and I did it because I could rank them very quickly and I could make some money very fast. In addition, I was selling two products instead of one, which meant I was making more money from that one sale and I had to do half the work because I didn't have a listing here and a listing here and I'm doing you know promotion on this one promotion on this one doing all this stuff I did one listing okay only had to promote the product one time you know, do some ads on your know, one your know, listing that's it and that's why it's a great thing to do bundles instead of just one product now with that said I'm not telling you go and just do bundles, not just individual products. Individual products are easier because they're already there. Bundles, you have to create them, which takes a little bit more time, a little bit more effort, but in the long run, you can make more money from that little bit of effort. Tip number three, which is one of my favorite things to do, is to negotiate with any manufacturer, any parent company, to make sure you're getting the best deal possible. Most people don't do this because they're afraid that the person's gonna say no. They're afraid that company is gonna say, well, if you can't do it at this price, then you just can't buy from us. If that's the case, and you're not making money anyway, then why not just ask, okay? There's so many times where a company will send me an email back and their response is, you know, uh, this is our price, you know, we can't go any lower. And I let them know straight up, if this is your price, you can't go any lower, I can't buy from you simply because it is not profitable on my end to buy that product okay so negotiate every single price if you can if you're willing to because you will make more money all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully it was enlightening it gave you a little bit more information into the wholesale side of Amazon FBA this, again this is a very simple Amazon FBA product research and your method use exactly what I showed you on my computer go out there find some products Go out there, find some profitable items, and start making that money. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, click that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one.